our bladed golf irons dead. Do we need them anymore? Who games them? Like who would even benefit from an iron that's not helping us as much as others? I think it's safe to say irons, bladed irons have changed so much over the years, like huge developments. So I've got the Z Forged Mark II bladed iron. Let's see who could, should or shouldn't ever think about gaming this kind of club. So the looks and feel, I mean, I think it's safe to say we're getting some of the nicest looks you can imagine. Oh, wow. Oh, like they're just spectacular looking. Like from the wedge, beautiful little shape, it's gonna blend with your player's wedges. Through to the five iron that's demanding that you do a certain amount. Obviously, if you want this kind of look, I think the Mark II Z forged is gonna be as good as anything out there. Like it looks so, so good. The seven iron the same. Five iron's not saying uh, I'm gonna help though. The five iron's saying, what are you bringing? It's slender. You see none of the club out the back. It feels like an old four iron. I just want my six iron in my power bats when I pick this up. Yes, I want it to look this way as in I feel cool. It's just when I get to this part, I feel maybe less cool. <laughs> Unless you hit it really well. Oh yes, I am cool actually. Thank you very much. And blade designs over the years have definitely got, like they're noticeably bigger. There's more head down by the ball. The feel's still the same, like they feel fantastic. They feel soft, forged and lovely. But as golf moves away from the bar room feel chats, the clubhouse range kind of cliche chats, and moves more into an age of monitoring performance and measuring performance, Maybe the ideas of something just looking how you want it to look now isn't as important. Hence the title of this video, Are They Dead? Because if you go to the major tours of the world, you see these kind of clubs less and less and less now. And that's not because they don't feel great, they do. And it's certainly not because they don't look great, they absolutely do. It's a lot more because the best players in the world need to find every little edge they can. And maybe, we should all be thinking that way, should we not? But I think when it comes to looks and feels, they look as good as anything out there. So some on-course situations where these clubs are talked about, sometimes in a cliche way, I think, they're in a way that, you know, people say, oh, they can really help you over, say, a cavity or game improvement club. I've got to bend it around the corner here. I'm about 190 something out, so I've got the five iron. I don't feel like this is any easier to move, bend, shape in the air, than any game improvement club I've hit, game or played. I feel like I can do it. I feel like a face the path relationship is gonna be the same no matter where the weight is in the club. It's just, if anything, a more friendly club when it comes to it in extreme shots makes me feel like I've got a bit of room for error, this one less. So the shaping idea with these, I'm not buying into it, it's a cliche. I think we should start dropping that one. Then we've got things like turf interaction. So how this club will glide, cut, move through the turf as you interact with the ball and the ground and try and get your perfect strikes. Now, obviously we have the V-sole, this real visual sole on the bottom of the Strixons that does make me really like the idea of how these interact with the turf but the thing is my zx4s which is the game improvement version i have the same sole so i can get that turf interaction with this now the only thing with a thinner sole like you get on a blade is you do feel like if you are starting to really manipulate the face to so play with the way open and closing face handle lean handle back to hit funky shots because you've got less club on the ground you don't feel like you're gonna expose loads of bounce compared to a thicker iron. So I think the turf interaction gains are there, but they're slim and they're not as always advertised. I think, again, in all the manufacturers clubs, they're thinking of that and maximizing it to the size of the club. And it's so, oh my word. The feel is ridiculous. Like they feel so pure. And the fact that they feel so good definitely gives me a different layer of confidence and feeling that I can do more with the club so rather than something that is super springy like a game improvement. Now I play game improvement, so I want that, but I totally understand why people might want this sound and feel for the 
confidence, whatever it is. So it's not going to be so measurable. And if the measurable difference between a game improvement and a blade subject to the loss being the same is minimal, then that feel, that sound, what it gives to you might be what is enough. That's what you're after. That's the reason they're not dead. When we look at the pricing of the Z Forge Mark II, like they're expensive, six irons around a thousand pounds. These are premium clubs for people who really want to spend money on their irons. These clubs are designed with ideas of blending as well, which we're going to come to, but they're not cheap. And this is where I think blades have really changed. I'm getting 174. This is a seven iron indoor yard. It's a 174 yards with my seven iron. Total spin is around averaging 5,400 revs. That's going to be about 6,500 revs when you get out on the golf course. And it basically, even the blades nowadays, what they're doing is they're moving more towards the game improvement. They're trying to make this club, they're, they're, they're almost by definition trying to make this club obsolete by moving it up towards the other ones. But for the people who want this cup, they want this look, they want this feel, they want those true numbers, which we'll talk about in a second, then they're saying, look, this is the one. It's close to a game improvement iron. It can be blended with a game improvement iron. And in the Strixon range, ZX5 and ZX7 irons would blend so easily with these clubs. They're even being made really for that in mind. I mean, those numbers are just for a bladed iron, are just strong. And the thing that's really interesting as well is how tight they are. Look at the standard deviation on the carry. Three yards, like they are tight. And that's another thing that you can buy into with a bladed iron is you are gonna get a very true flight to what's coming out as much as possible. You're not gonna get those kind of low spin bombers that you can get from the game improvement iron over the forged kind of beautiful bladed iron. So when it comes to combo, I thought I'd try the ZX4, so my iron against the Z Forged Mark II. So the four is the ultimate game improvement that I play, and this is obviously the blade. So we're the other end of the spectrum, but it's a five iron via six iron, 200 yards out, wrong side of the 17th at St. Andrews. So we're coming over the bunker, and I wonder if they fix that uh, bridge yet. <laughs> that's the ZX4, my club, I haven't re-gripped it yet, and that is a good shot. The six iron and five iron, you'll see why, I'm trying to match lofts as close as I can. That's an average hit, but gonna do pretty good. Oh, oh stop! So I mean, there's not much in those two, is there? So Z4, Mark II to kick us off. On round two, that is a toe. So I'm expecting that to get, yeah, not over the bunker. Bounce, oh yes. It's a bit of a high toe and I do hit the ball here. Hence I do try and just squeeze any little help I can when it comes to these kind of irons. So six iron for me, I would call that in modern terms. Well, it's my longest iron, so it is a long iron. So that's a decent hit. It looks way higher as well, which we're going to look at in a second. So again, Z4 for me, it's just, it's asking too much in a five iron. I don't need to ask that much. So for me, when the launch starts falling off in this five iron, I replace it with help. Again, not a bad hit with the Z4, slightly turny, drawy. It's a no-brainer for me how easier the game improvement iron feels when I'm pushing myself for that 200 yard marker. That one was quite long. So you can see I can match these clubs up quite well, but that little bit more launch is what I'm buying into 16 to 14 degrees. And you can see the dynamic loss, basically 19.7 and 20.2. So the loft I'm delivering is pretty matched. Well, when it comes to a seven iron downwards, I absolutely could game blades and I would see the point in whoever wants to game them. You do feel more precise. They do look and sound and feel as good as anything and I'm not sacrificing launch now. Oh, what a shot. Oh, Z Forged, Mark II, get on. So I think in the combo world, they're absolutely worth it. I end up in a wedge, which is bladed like this. So gradually getting there, which this could do in a set, might actually be the answer. Now, if you're interested in why you might need a new driver, everyone's enjoying this video, where I give you the permission 
to treat yourself to a new driver. 